my new photoshop tutorial which is about the photo editing today i'll edit a photo uh, with a vintage look here is my stock photo i'll give you the download link of this photo and don't forget to check out my video description and i downloaded this photo from the devener.com this one is unedited photo here is uh, no extra lights or other things it's natural photo and uh, but uh, it's not attractive for the light or the saturation or the contrast or other things uh, for that i'll fix it up with my editing let's go uh, start our editing today at first as usual make a copy by pressing ctrl j of this background layer and give the name of this layer main and then again make two copies by pressing ctrl j okay here i'll give it b for burn d for touch okay after that just turn off the d layer and select the b layer and make it skin and go to the blending options just slide this one uh, <coughs> just press the alter button and just uh, divide this slider and just adjust with the color or light and hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the image and apply image and the hit ok button turn on the delayer and make it multiply blending mode and right button press then blending options just slide this slider and just divide this one and adjust with the shadows and hit the ok button you can change any kind of uh, settings by pressing here this two square box overlap square box press here and you will get the same settings again and you can adjust the lights or colors or that means the sh shadow and uh, highlighted okay hit the ok button and press the d options and make it mask go to the image and apply image and in this case make this invert and hit ok select two layers make it group make it just mask this one go to the image and apply image again in this case just uncheck the invert option and hit ok will get soft light which is the shadow and highlight okay that's good and just make group of these two layers make it merge after making it merge go to the filter and camera filter after going camera filter i will just uh, adjust the colors of these wall or the lights the saturation all the things before that we should crop this image okay just go to go to the crop tool and crop this one okay like that that's good and just press here okay after that go to the filter and camera of filter after going camera of filter at first i'll add some exposure in this photo little bit 0 0.30 percent and contrast i'll add 656 six, that's good okay press the alter button and remove this slider or slide this slider okay add some highlights that's good and after that just decrease the shadows minus 30 percent okay press the alter button and hold it and then move the slider and when you are getting dots in a skin red dots just leave it okay after that just alter button again press this one and just then slide this slider when you are getting dots just leave it okay you'll get nice light uh, in this picture okay uh, here is uh, clarity i'll give it three percent and the variance four percent and the saturation three percent after that go to the detail options sharpening options add some amount of sharpening and then 
add some noise reducer luminance luminance then the color luminance okay color smoothness just add okay then go to the hsl hue saturation luminance at first go to the hue and make the blue hue to the cyan or minus 17 percent that's good and go to the saturation add some saturation of blue and go to the luminance and add some just de highlight the blue like that okay that's good and from the saturation panel decrease the orange color at the luminance and then go to the split toning at first I will add some just cyan color and increase the saturation a little bit after that go to the make it make it uh, yellowish and add some little bit little bit saturation that's good and then go to the camera calibration decrease the primary blue color increase the saturation and add the yellow sorry the green primary green like that plus it add some saturation plus three and you can add this one like that red primary and plus six after that go to the effects and add some vignette and the vignette a little bit and adjust with that that vignette and just feathers and go to the hsl again and go to the saturation decrease the red saturation increase the red luminance okay and hit the ok button what was our previous image this one was our previous and the present one the light had shadow the color all kinds of elements are prominent in this image okay after that go to the adjustment layer and then go to the color lookup here is lots of filters you can use any kind of filter from here okay i'm finding a perfect filter for this image okay fuji and this one is good and fuji this one is good actually it's uh, like a vintage effect this okay and just decrease some fill 75 percent okay that's good and after that go to the adjustment layer again and go to the levels and adjust with the okay histogram actually we have to adjust this one okay that's good and then go to the curves after going to the curves just select here here and here after that add some just like that okay and again go to the hue saturation decrease some saturation like that that's good and select all the layers and make it group make it match by pressing ctrl shift alter e and after that go to the filter and the google nick collection color effects pro from the color effects pro i will add some effects and i'll show you how to add that okay it will take time to load after that you will get the filters i'm using cross processing filters and here is other filters of related with the cross processing and you can use those that's good and you can try another filters and those who are attractive actually here is another one this one this one okay you can use your own choice okay any kind of filter which flavor do you want to get in your photo you can use that kind of filter okay and then i'll use this one the c04 and hit the ok button okay it will take time to save your image or apply this one okay that's good select two layers and make it group make it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e 
okay let's see what was the previous one which is a non edited photo this one and this one is after edit this photo you will okay, thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and i am asmarif signing out don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend thank you so much